Well, hey there, and welcome back to another Second Hand Opinions video. I'm Jason Alderman, and it's favorite, Fat Mouth, Fat Ass, bringing you facts, facts, fucked facts. And Twitter seems to have an aversion to the truth and facts. So, uh, you know, we all got to go out there and make sure everybody's aware of what's going on. Poke fun at Twitter a little bit, because uh, Jack Dorsey must love his echo chamber if you're only allowed to say things that are uh, aligning with Jack Dorsey's opinion, then it's just Jack Dorsey's Twitter chamber. Let's go over here to Fox News, take a look. What's Jack Dorsey got against the truth? Oh, orange man bad. Twitter deletes Trump health advisors claim masks don't work. Twitter Incorporated blocked a tweet from a contrarian medical advisor to President Donald Trump, which stated that wearing masks doesn't help slow the spread of the coronavirus. Masks work? No, Scott Atlas said in a tweet removed as of Sunday by the social media site. The post, which linked to an article in the American Institute for Economic Research that argued against the effectiveness of masks, was in violation of the company's rule against sharing false and harmful information, Twitter told CNN. Trump regularly downplayed the effectiveness of masks until contracting the virus himself. Public health experts, including Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases, have said wearing them helps slow the spread of the virus which has killed nearly 220,000 Americans. If you believe the numbers, Atlas is a neuroradiologist with no epidemiology background affiliated with Stanford University's conservative Hoover Institute. He's repeatedly argued that lockdowns are excessive, pushed for reopening the economy, and said it's preferable to expose young healthy people to the virus so they develop immunity. Yeah, Doc, I believe that's the whole herd immunity thing we were talking about way back in, like, you know, March of this year. Two weeks to flatten the curve, all that lie. Atlas was brought onto the White House Coronavirus Task Force in August and has become a Trump favorite after appearances on Fox News and other conservative outlets where he downplayed the risk of the virus to anyone but the old and frail. Other task force members, including Fauci and Deborah Bricks, were mainstays of Trump's press conferences early in the pandemic, but have faded from view at the White House. Trump last held a formal press conference with them in April, and July 30th was the last time Trump held an event of any kind with Fauci and Bricks. Atlas, in September, criticized Robert Redfield, the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, for saying that 90% of Americans are still vulnerable to the virus. Fauci fired back on Redfield's behalf and said, Atlas tends to cherry-pick data. Redfield has also criticized Atlas, saying everything he says is false, according to a report by NBC in September, which said it overheard Redfield make the comment while on a commercial flight. Atlas is frequently seen without a mask at the White House, in general the COVID-19 outbreak there, which infected Trump, the First Lady, their teenage son, several aides, and others, has done little to change mask-wearing habits in Trump's orbit. Well, boys and girls, I suspect that that's because if you don't believe in the bullshit and you're not buying the hype and you're not swallowing the placebo and the fear lie and all that crap, then you probably don't really care too much about it. And you're going to get sick or you're not going to get sick and we're going to move on with life. That's just the, <laughs> the way this thing goes. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if you're a, a, an a educated individual or not. As long as your opinion agrees with the folks that run in Twitter over there, then you can post that opinion. But if your opinion does not agree, it doesn't matter... What kind of credentials you have behind your name, they are going to shut you down. You cannot tell them something that does not agree with our doctrine. This is what's written in our holy scriptures. You have to go along with it or you're removed. Ban shunned! Let's all pretend like our opinions matter and leave them in the comments below. And remember, this is social media, so do all the things.